Hello, my Ms. Percival's. And I am here with a video for you guys today. So today I was asked to do a compare a comparison video. Let me get myself together. Okay, so I was asked to do a comparison video um of a recent bag and an older bag. Well not old, but so I recently got this beauty. Yeah, I recently got this beauty, which is Michael Kors Blair Satchel. I, I don't know. I believe it's a, I mean, duffel bag. Okay. Okay. So, yes, it's called the Michael Kors Blair Duffel Bag and the color Smoky Rose. It is a um, light pink. And I wanted to compare it to um, the, my, my, the mini. Rowan and Michael Kors extra small duffel bag. So all these bags are extra small. <laughs> so this one Is burnt red the Bedford legacy I always forget the name of this bag and I don't know why because I really love this bag even though I only used it once when I first got it but this is the extra small um legacy duffel bag this is coaches extra small mini Rowan for the mini Rowan and this is a extra small Blair so I just wanted to show size difference. Size difference for one. As you can see, the Blair is much bigger. Not a whole lot bigger. Just looking at it, you can tell it's an extra small bag. But compared to the Bedford, these two hold about the same amount of weight. Look, I meant the same. The dimensions are about the same. The Michael Kors song may look a little bigger because of the material and everything and the extra um, hardware and lining, but they both hold about the same amount. And this is the Blair. So these two, the Bedford and the Rowan, are about the same in size and dimensions. Like I said, the mini Rowan looks a little smaller, but it holds about the same amount as the Bedford. And the Blair is a little bigger. Of course, I believe this is, I want to say, a, a newer bag. Um, the Bedford is still in style. People still love these Bedfords. I love the buckle of it. It comes with a little outside embellished um, MK charm. It has four feet at the bottom. Let me get it together. It has four feet at the bottom. And like I said, it has this little buckle thing on the front, which makes it so nice. This is the back of the bag bottom and sides it is in gold tone hardware and on the inside of the bag I just have her stuff with all her accessories it does have a back slip compartment and 
that's the only compartments that come with this particular bag. It's one back slip compartment. Now the mini Rowan charm. Is that open? No, it's closed. So the mini Rowan, I said charm. Uh, the mini Rowan bag has a front outside zip compartment unlike the, unlike the Bedford it has no outside pockets the mini Rowan has an outside slip I mean outside zip compartment this is the back the bottom doesn't have feet unfortunately like the Michael Kors Bedford it has four base feet sides sides the drop handle is a little shorter as well than the Bedford. The Bedford has a longer of uh, handles. And it has this little small logo tag. Just as Michael Kors always have his signature. So on the inside. <clears throat> okay, let's see what we're going So the inside, uh, now I just have all the extra accessories. So the inside of the mini Roman just comes with two card slots. That's it. So that's all the com compartmentalized um, lies and it has. The Beffer has a slip compartment and the mini Roman has two card slots inside of it. As for the Blair, <clears throat> it has a front, it has a front slip compartment in the front of the bag and embellishing this little MK little thing. It doesn't have any uh, tags like how Coach, um, this are, it doesn't have any of that, but the chains, the handles are half chain and have leather for us the handle they don't stand up like these two they do drop down because of the chains but it does comes with an outside slip compartment this is the side back and side this is the bottom it does not come with feet that's my only thing i felt like this one is bigger then the other Michael Kors Bedford, and this one has feet, four feet at the base. I feel like the Blair should have had feet also because it is smaller. They're both duffel bags by Michael Kors. Why make the smaller one? Even though they're considered on the website both as extra small bags, and they are extra small, but this one is much bigger. Far as I could probably get two times more in this bag than I can in that those but the bag to the eye is definitely bigger it is much bigger and it's the depths inside the bag that it holds so much like I love a small bag that holds so much this bag really does hold a lot my only thing is I wish she would have put feet at the bottom of it Michael Kors are, is really good with putting feet at the bottom of his bags um, but for whatever reason, he really didn't put them on the bottom of his, this bag. Coach is not so good with putting feet at the bottom of their bags. They have plenty of bags with feet at the bottom, but it's not a big, a really big thing as far as with Coach. Um, I wish all these little bags would have came with feet, but only this one has feet. But this is the bottom of the bag. It doesn't have any feet. Front zip, I mean front slip compartment in the fr very front of the bag and on the inside of the bag it has a back zip compartment and it also has a slip compartment Oh, no. 
So this have more compartments to it than the, those two. Also because it is bigger, of course. But this have more compartments to it. This has the front slip, inside slip, and back and inside zip. So far as pricing. I believe the Blair is much newer. If you're going towards the Michael Kors way, as far as these extra small bags, um, duffel bags, because they're all our extra small duffel bags. If you're going towards the um, Michael Kors way, I would preferably, I would literally choose the Blair. For one, you get more. You get, you, you're able to get, oh, excuse me, you guys. You're able to get more space. Oh, Lord. Ooh. You're able to get more room, more things. Um, I feel like it's more classier. It also has a crossbody scrap that is half chain, half leather. And you get more compartments with this extra small bag. And the price is going to run you at about around the same price as the Bedford. So, as I've been trying to do lately, is look into um, pricing and everything like that. <clears throat> so I can't remember how much I had the, the Bedford for so long I can't remember exactly how much the um, Bedford actually cost. But I know I got the Blair doing his um, doing his fall sale. So the extra small Blair, which is the one, one I have, which is the extra small, it comes in multiple colors. The colors are in crimson, luggage, vanilla cream, and ballet. This this one he also have a with silver tone hardware. He also have it in blue and I think in green or something like that. And then as far as his summer colors, which is the smoky rose, he have it in rose, smoky rose, and then dahlia. If you have any other colors, I, I'm not sure of just yet. The retail, the regular price that this bag is currently going for is $2.98. I've got my bag on sale at one, one something like that, like $1.19 or somewhere up in there <clears throat> during the fall sale. But the regular price for the Blair is at $2.98. Um... The regular price for the Mini Rowan sits at, I think, $130 to $149, if I'm not mistaken. You know, um, these prices with Coach, they fluctuate when, depending on the colors. And as far as the Bedford... The extra small Bedford goes for $198. So, yes, the price is much cheaper with the Bedford. It used to be more or whatever, but I guess because it's not as new as it was. The price has went down, so I'm guessing now the value price of the Bedford is at $198. <clears throat> and this comes in multiple colors as well. He has the Bedford in so many colors. And you can even find them from third-party sellers if it's no longer on the website. This red always sold out so quick. And I'm not a big fan of red. But for whatever reason, I was attracted to this color um, when I saw it. And this one is at... So this one is retailed at... This one goes for $198, but you can catch it on sale depending on the colors. This one goes for $149, but you can catch it at a lower price as well. as low as 70% off, I believe, at $89. Um, 
and then this one goes for two ninety eight. Which if you get if you get to get a sale, I only paid one nineteen. So I think I got this for eighty nine or something like that. I can't remember. I have two of these. I don't know which one I actually got the biggest sale one. Which one I had the biggest sale for? But I believe it was eighty nine for this. I paid about one hundred five to one nineteen for this baby. Ah. And then I paid about um, 120 I believe, for this. <clears throat> um, let's see. I would get the dimensions. The extra this the, the dimensions of the Be the Bedford Legacy is sitting at is sitting at. Six and width, four point five in height, and three in depth. And I'm gonna assume the rowing is close to that. It may be a couple of centimeters, maybe off. Far as the blare. The extra small blare is sitting at 7.75 in width. The height is at 5.75 and the depth is at 4. So that's the a, a good difference in size. And the depth is a whole takes a whole lot of accountability far as what fits. That's letting you know that the depths of it can pack a whole lot. So you want to keep an eye out for when bags have that. Because just looking at the height and also the width of a bag. Width does matter as well. So does height. But depths of a bag. You could get these. I have bags that are taller and longer. And that. But just don't fit much. But I could get a bag like this. Which is considered an extra small bag. And the depths of it is it holds so much so I just wanted to do this video of the comparison of the uh, extra small Blair from Michael Kors the mini Rowan from coach and the um, extra small uh, Bedford legacy from Michael Kors as well on all three of these bags I do plan on getting another one of these in a different color and I want another one of these in a different color. I already have two, two, three, whatever of those. I don't know what be in my collection, y'all. Um, so I am good on the mini rowing unless they just come out with something that I just can't resist. But I haven't really been into any more rowings lately. I'm kind of out of the whole thing of rowings at this point. I don't want any more Rowans at all. I don't care what's the size. I'm not in the field of any more Rowans. Um, that's kind of why I got rid of some of my Rowans because I just wasn't feeling Rowans. Any, I'm not really feeling the Rowans anymore like that. Don't get me wrong. I still love Rowans. I think the Rowans are really nice. But I just got tired of going out and seeing Rowans everywhere. And it just, it just made me lose interest like... I'm okay because I know uh, a lot of these bags that Coach, Michael Kors, or whatever these designers sell, like the MC, the Marc Jacobs tote bag that is everywhere, the MCM, the MCM, uh, Liz Shopper, and all that, that, everybody got those bags, but it was just that rowing was just crazy, like, everybody, I didn't even see any little girls with it, I was just like, okay. And I don't know, somewhere along the line, I kind of lost interest in the Rowans. But then when they did the, started coming out with the mini Rowans, you know, I dig those more. So I'm just kind of out of the whole big Rowan. Definitely the big Rowans. But the mini Rowans, it would have to be something that definitely catches my eye. I really don't, I really don't want any more duffel bags completely. But I will take another Blair, definitely. Um, this I wouldn't mind another color in, but it's not nothing that I, I'm really, that I care to have. 
but I would like another one of these because I really, really do love this bag and the size of it. It's like an in-between of these two bags and the regular size rowing. So, I love that. Anyway, I want to tell you guys to remember, remember, remember to always, always bless someone else. And remember that when you're down to nothing, God is always up to something, baby. Now, you smile and be blessed. Bye.